The Arts Foundation is so excited to announce Joe Hay of Provincetown, our inaugural Artist of the Year. Joe's work with the Persister series has made such an impact on different causes and focusing on strong leaders, women mostly. It's really made a mark of who she is as an artist. I can't think of a better person to have in this role right now, fulfilling the AFC's mission in supporting and celebrating the arts on Cape Cod. She has really spread through the Cape, has worked with other organizations, and I think her, her commitment to the arts community on Cape Cod, which is beyond Provincetown, is, is truly evident. She's really put in her time, and I think she's very, very deserving of this award for so many reasons, um, but particularly because she really cares about this community. I know she's done a number of fundraisers where if any Things sells. She's donated money to Ukraine. She's donated to LGBTQ. She really, really fits all the bills when you think about someone who's community oriented, but very, very focused on being an artist. And that I've had the pleasure of seeing since day one. And it's been one of the great pleasures of, of being here as long as I have, is to see somebody kind of go full circle in terms of meeting people, being involved with organizations, networking, showing her work, teaching. I really think she's kind of hit the full circle of, of coming around to really putting her time into to her craft and this community. Joe's work deserves to be seen um, and, and certainly not just by gallery shoppers. Joe doesn't necessarily get to hear people's response to the paintings the way I do, and, and some of it is directed at me, but some of it is um, people's backs to me, what I overhear people saying about who these women are and how they change their lives. And for me, there is healing that happens by images. So for me, there's reparative health that goes on with these images, and the more people have access to seeing them, they're large scale, they look you in the eye, they confront you, they dare you, and recognize a kick-ass woman painted them. So we're honoring who the images are, but who did it and why? I think one of the, the really interesting technical aspects of Joe's work is how it's not just one style. She's actually integrated a little bit of cubism, a little bit of modernism with realism. And when you're looking, especially at the Persister series, these portraits, these eyes, you, she has captured the eyes of these people to, to draw you right into the subject. And when you really see like how she puts these portraits together, it's not just you know painting a portrait, she's building. And, and it's almost like she's building little geometric shapes to create these, these portraits and they're really quite wonderful. I think for me, color is the foundation of everything. I'm very conscious of it. I don't have a real system of painting, each painting, um, like I don't go into it and say I'm going to paint Jacqueline Kennedy in the way that I painted Elizabeth Warren or whatever. I'll start the painting and I'll follow really the way the colour needs to work per portrait. The most difficult part for me was the actual the dress um, because I have to find a way to integrate something that's relatively flat and simple looking um, in the style in which I paint, which seems to be a little bit more vigorous and um, there's, there's movement in it. Probably spent the most time thinking about how I would make this dress work in order for it to look effortless. I definitely sort of went to town in the hair. That was, that was a real, you know, very exciting to be able to sort of dig in and, and just push colours back and forwards because I'm not always painting wet into wet, but in the hair I did, I did a lot of wet into wet painting. It's really a unique style that I think she's perfected through the Persister series, really. But it's, it, again, it's one of those things that just draws you right in whenever you are around those, those pieces, you can't help yourself. When I heard that Joe was named Artist of the Year, I recognize how many people are moved by this work and know that it's important and know it's a big deal as a female artist um, and a local artist. You know, she is an artist of large scale, but she is of the Cape. You know, she lives here for a reason, and I think that contributes to how and why she paints and who she paints. People's lives have been changed by the women she's painting. I'm really proud of her.